So I'm doing myself a favor now and not reading the chat. And if you're watching this on YouTube, perhaps you should skip that as well because they will probably spoil the shit out of this match. But uh, so a couple of days ago at OU Gaming Tournament in Dubai, or Dubai, Ni got wrecked in, I think it was winner's finals versus this Pakistani player here. This is Ni, by the way, on the, in case you haven't seen him before. I'm gonna hold his chin. I'm holding his face. Ha ha ha! The best Tekken player in the world is in my grasps. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, Ni fans. It was a joke. Please, don't send me hate mail. Keep donating money. Thanks, guys. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this guy, Ar Arslan from Pakistan, destroyed Ni. 6 0. He didn't get a single round Ni, and it's incredible. Uh, now they're playing in the grand finals. I haven't watched it. This, I haven't had it spoiled, so this is gonna be amazing. Uh, can he wreck Ni again? Like. Uh, and OU Gaming, shout out to uh, the organizers, again, like amazing people, great, great people, uh, met so many talented players uh, and cool nice stuff. people, uh, they have really talented See, players in the Middle yeah, East, like Saudi Arabia, think, uh, Pakistan, really good about Claudia, uh, one, two, very God, strong players. It's really good. Yeah, uh, is that the one that has the tracking? Yeah, it has really good tracking yeah. and so fast. Even the uh, hopefully the volume is really okay. Okay, so Nia switched to Claudio against yes, Arslan's yeah, Claudio. extremely yeah. so deadly Kazumi. I mean, his movement in the first matchup, I was like, my jaw dropped. And here we go. Uh, so Nia, for some reason, goes with Claudio, thinking Claudio is the counter here. Th that punish is scary. Like, how fast... I mean, okay, I'm 33 years old now, but... This guy, his reflexes are so fast. I mean, every time he ducks and oh, sidesteps, yeah. as soon as he Claudio, sees the nice opening, spot, nice he reacts to it in 10 milliseconds, like, <laughs> like that. Nice. I think he's also trying to play the, uh, Back three is doing a lot of work here from on these Claudio. Yeah, I think also his, uh, magic Gotta love that knee. Is really good. Yeah, knee Claudio does a lot of knees, of course. Nice block. Nice no block. Oh, nice duck job. Yeah. But couldn't punish from that range, I guess, perhaps. So 1-0 for Arsalan versus Ni. Yeah. So yeah, Arsalan takes the first round. Two, uh, one, so who knows, except for Ni, why Claudia should be a good uh, character to fight uh, Kazumi. Oh, doesn't he get an Ose after that? I don't know, to me it doesn't seem like an obvious pick, you know. Okay, so Claudia just do no doesn't seem overall like an obvious to tournament to character, oh. considering his big flaws. Especially compared to Kazumi, but Ni is—he uh, knows a hundred times more than I do about Tekken, so he must have a good I idea of what to do here with Claudio. But again, like Ar Arslan's incredible punishment—you know, ducking—is it down for free with Claudio? He's punished it every time. Only five seconds left. We are even. No. Wow, yeah, Ni takes it. Clutch Amazing poking there towards the end of the round. But I mean, I just can, can't get over the fact of how incredible this is, you know. Ni is invited to a tournament in Dubai and uh, he just encounters a player. I'm sure 99% of the community have no idea who he is. And Okay, He's doing this to me. Oh, it doesn't oh, wow. You know, wow, like that's yeah. Very unusual for a high level player. I mean, so it's incredible when we see a European uh, or an American, you know, get one match on me. Okay, goes for the power this guy sent me to losers, you know. Okay, they're both trying to but of course, Kane and Trench, British uh, Yoshimitsu yeah, player, was does. able to do the same at Dama Germany. Uh, although. Um, Ni downloaded his playstyle very quickly after that and got his revenge oh, wow. later in the, the tournament. Uh, but this is still looking very, very... Uh, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say one-sided, but I gotta say that Arslan is still looking very, very powerful. But of course, there are probably a lot of hidden Tekken gods who just don't go to tournaments. 
I mean, especially South America has a lot of... Uh, Middle East as well, you know. I played a lot of them in 2016 when I was invited to, to OU Gaming. Uh, I played a lot of them, you know, like incredible players that unfortunately no one really knows about. Those are the two big hidden Tekken communities. Middle East and uh, South America. Nice reversal. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he is uh, a bit under here in health. Oh, that back is blocked. He didn't get launched for it though. Nice parry. <laughs> Otze, you want a hop kick? Well, I have a tiger here and he's very hungry for hop kicking Italians. And uh, yeah, Claudio is a hop kicking Italian. Is he trying to get in his head? I mean, Ni nee has to be thinking here, like, what the fuck is going on? Did he rematch? But, I mean, that was three ones to one. Uh, I missed it. Did he rematch? Thing? No. Stage oh, select, see. I guess. Couldn't even use hop kick. Even okay, he keeps yeah, I mean, going with Claudio. You might as well switch it. He yeah, keeps like, going I with mean, Claudio. I mean, Steve, even Steve didn't work we'll out. Uh... I think Steve is good versus Kuzma. I just wish we had like a direct link to Nee's uh, head sometimes. Like, uh, and I got the transcript, you know, in digital form. Like, this is what I'm thinking by by picking Claudio. This is what I'm trying to do. Um, it, it would just be so interesting to hear his thoughts on this. Like, why? Why Arslan's Kazumi, he feels Claudio is the proper counter. So it's second match here. Arslan's... Bless you, main man. Thanks, guys. Arslan's up one game. And uh, yeah, Ni has to uh, get the bracket reset here. Uh, so he has to win, uh, I mean, three games just to get it to uh, a proper set. It's not often you see Ni in the in this position. Damn, sick parry. Oh, nice. That is so. That's minus fifteen. I had no idea. Nice hop kick. Very so dominant round. Arslan was having a lot of fun there. Was he was he taunting me? Is that cheeky Arslan just doing tiger parry over and over? Or did he feel the parry was the best option? He was doing a lot of parries. But that parry did get buffed, right, for season two. I think it got buffed. Man, she still does so much damage. She got a slight damage nerf in season two, but it's still massive. Okay, so nice down back four from Arsalan. But uh, yeah, Arslan is just uh, very consistent here. You know what amazes me? I mean, considering Arslan is not a big name, he hasn't been to a lot of tournaments. He's probably been to tournaments in Pakistan? But here he is playing against Ni, and he doesn't seem to choke at all. Like, aren't you a bit nervous? Just a tiny bit? Max, thanks so much for the donation, man. Uh, really appreciate it. Very generous donation as well. Much love to you, sir. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to say, like, uh, you're up against the best player in the world. You probably don't have a lot of experience playing against Koreans, or none whatsoever, or big name players. But he's not, he doesn't seem nervous. And he just sent Ni to losers. Now they are playing in grand finals. And he's still so composed. I mean, it's, uh, that, that's quite remarkable. You know, he's obviously mentally very strong, Arslan. Talk about composed player. Especially as, I mean, his play style is very 
Lightning fast reactions, great punishment, and incredible movement, creating at, at all times, you know, opportunities to whiff punish. Wow, nice. Really nice series of blocks. It's uh, it's quite wow, remarkable, wow. honestly. Wow. I mean, it's quite remarkable. Some dude is wrecking me, and it's not JDCR or Saint. I mean, in this day and age, considering Ni has been the most dominant, he's been crushing everyone for ten months. Even JDCR wrecking Ni would be like. Whoa, a hot topic, you know. It would be newsworthy, you know, because Ni has been unstoppable for so long. But now a guy from Pakistan is saying, Hold my apple, Mr. Ni. This is a stubborn Ni. He goes for Claudio again? Okay, goes in with the homing move. I would have loved to see his Paul. In the winner's finals, his first loss to Arslan, he played Steve. I would have loved to see his Paul. Uh, okay, he's got a big lead here. Oh, can she launch that with while standing 2? Maybe it's too slow, her while standing 2? I don't know. No, short range, perhaps. So he should be able to launch that, yeah. no? And this should be uh, Ni's oh, round. Okay. Um, some nice pressure there by Arslan. He only has 12 seconds left though and he just used up his rage drive. This should be Ni's round, right? Oh, okay. nice. Oh, oh, nice good step by Ni. 1-1 one, one to close it out. So he's up one round now. God knows he needed that. Uh, so let's see if he, he can keep up some form of momentum here. Has he got a download now on Arslan? That would be good. Oh, down two is blocked. Max damage punish. Nice step. Both players keeping it rather safe. I was just going to say, except for Ni throwing down back free very often. Why is he throwing it so often? Arslan's reactions are super fast. Ni needs this round. You got him at the wall, man. Oh god, that poking. Sick poking. So 1-1 one, one in rounds. Come on. I'm actually rooting for Ni here just because I want to see another set. Badly. Or a character switch. Okay, nice duck. Wow, this guy is so good at blocking these lows. Nice, nice duck jab there. Nice duck jab, so Ni is in trouble. His back is out the wall. Gets away with a homing move. Nice low. But all these lows are getting eaten alive. Down back free, down for free. More often than not, Arslan is, uh, I mean, punishing them severely. Oh no, whip punish on the throw. Okay, get some of the Nice, rate nice back for two. Drive. I think that raid drive just. I think that's the momentum turn you really need right now. Okay. Okay, so they're both trying to. But both players are playing so compact. I mean, Ni is throwing an occasional down back free, but look at how safe Arslan is playing. I mean, he never overextends anything. Nice punish while running two to the face. Starburst is blocked. God. Wow, that, that blocking from Arslan is just so good. Asan is now one round away yeah, from, from winning, winning the, tournament. Oh, god. the tournament. Oh god. Oh god, even in rounds. Yeah, Arslan only needs Three. one more round. Wow, so god damn it. Such a weird game. Okay. Good punish on the down back too. Asan is playing so dirty right now. Yeah. D that's not it's dirty, that's just incredible time. fucking poking and fundamentals. He's placing his attack so well. Oh, that's it. Look. Oh god. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh god. And that's it. Wow. 
Knee beat. Knee gets beat by Arsenal. Is beat by Arsenal threes. No handshake. What? Very clutch rave drive. No. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And that's it. Wow. Knee beat. Knee gets beat by Arsenal. Is beat by Arsenal threes. Okay, uh, Arslan r runs away. Very happy, of course. Uh, but Nee just sits there going, What the fuck just happened, I guess. Uh, but he lost 3 0 in winners' finals. No, 2 0. Uh, 6 0 in rounds. Didn't get a single round with his Steve. And now Arslan just won 3 0. So Nee didn't get a single match on this guy. How is that even possible? Uh, so this is incredible. Uh, huge shout out to everyone in Pakistan. You guys must be so happy considering your hombre. El mejor... Why am I speaking German? <laughs> We're talking about Pakistan. Uh, but uh, you guys must be so happy. Your brother doing this well. Uh, against the best player in the world. Uh, who the hell saw this coming? No one did. Uh, super epic. Uh, please, uh, everyone in Pakistan, do a fundraiser. Do what the South Americans did with Abel del Maestro. Do a fundraiser. Uh, promote it on Twitter and social media. And try to get Arslan a ticket to next Evo. Because God knows we need to see what this guy can do at Evo. Uh, and uh, the fact that he's beaten Nii so convincingly is incredibly remarkable. But the thing you also want to see is how does he deal with different types of playstyles? Was it Nii's particular playstyle he was very attuned to? Could he do? Would he do the same to Saint or JDCR? Just stomp them? Uh, but uh, yeah, just get that, get that guy to Evo, make it happen, Pakistani and Middle Eastern community. Uh, this was incredible, holy shit. Uh, nothing more to say. Have a nice day.